Hello and welcome to African Farming. Now, if you're a vegetable farmer, this discussion is not one to be missed. In studio with me, I have Matome Ramokopa from Enza Zarden. Matome, welcome. Thanks, it's great to be here. Matome, it has been said that you should never underestimate the power of a planted seed. However, the cultivar and also the quality of the seed matters, doesn't it? It really does matter and I can never stress enough the importance of selecting the right variety, particularly for your growing conditions and uh, the market in which you're, you're supplying into. So generally, um, a lot of uh, varieties are bred with a particular purpose and, and use in mind. So it's particularly crucial that you ask the right questions about the variety that you are, uh, that you are planting. Um, uh, plant habit as well as the kind of disease package and disease resistance that it has because that already gives you a certain edge or upper hand in going into the, in, into the market. Now, during the TV series, we visited a lot of um, vegetable farmers and we picked up one thing. Crop rotation and diversification are very important. Why is that? It's particularly important if you want to be a sustainable farmer. So one, you need to look at what you're producing in the summer and what you're producing in the, in the winter so that you've got a full calendar year of uh, production. But in that, you also need to look at um, the infrastructure that you have on site in terms of uh, the resources. Firstly, from a logistical point of view, how are you going to be transporting the product to and from market, your proximity to market, and also the type of crops that you are growing so that they are kind of complementary. In, uh, in, in, the, in the requirements, which also puts a little bit less of a strain on, on the entire production, production cycle, so to speak. Now let's talk more about crop rotation. As a farmer, how do I know what to rotate with and when? It's a lot, a lot, it's a lot broader. Firstly, your, your kind of infrastructure is, is important because, for example, if you are uh, growing in the, whether in the open field or in greenhouse, of course in greenhouses that is, not, uh, that is not essential, but if you are growing maybe in the open field, there's several ways to go about it, particularly if you've got limited space. So if you um, think where there's limited space, you could even consider for the first couple of years producing um, maybe in the open field and later putting a net structure and maybe at the latest end you can even put in a, a plant in substrate which actually makes you, uh, will give you the opportunity to use the space over a longer, a longer period. But if you do have um, a, a large area, then ideally you want to be able to rest your ground and put in uh, either some leguminous crops uh, during the off season so that you're able to uh, uh, produce and grow sustainably over, over a longer period. Now Matuma, I hear that Enza Zarin is a market leader for onion seeds. Is this true? Indeed, and Zazaran is a leader in uh, the supply of onion seed, particularly short day, uh, short day onion uh, varieties. So as you know, um, onion is a crop that is daylight sensitive. So you, um, and all the aspects that we were talking about uh, prior become even more and more crucial and more complex with uh, a variety, uh, with a crop like onion, where variety selection becomes, uh, becomes key. Because certain varieties have a particular sowing window, some even as short as two to three weeks in which uh, the variety can, uh, can only be, be planted. But indeed, we play a crucial role in, the, in that space. We've got quite a, uh, what I'd call a broad and full pipeline of variety to be able to plant from the um, early, early season Season right up until till late, so what you'd call a early short day, right up uh, right up until intermediate uh, varieties. And Matume, lastly, I hear that Enza Zarin has a new kid on the block. Tell us more about this. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a new um, kid on the block uh, for the for the globe, but I think for South Af in a South African context, it is. It's the orange uh, orange pumpkin. So we've been growing um, it locally for several years now, but a lot of it for export. And we've been uh, working hard to try and create uh, local uh, interest, particularly because it's got better eating, uh, eating quality and processing capability uh, compared to butternut. Matume, thank you so much for that insight. Always a pleasure. And to you, the viewer, thank you so much for watching African Farming. And remember, we farm better together. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, 
SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.